What's up, y'all? Chef Del Taldi here. I'm the host of All Up In My Grill on Taste Made, and we are about to get All Up In West Side Boogie's Grill. We are at Grand Master Recorders, a restaurant that used to be a recording studio where some of the most iconic records have been laid down. This is gonna be a fun one. We're talking about food, music, life, and even cookouts. You are a LA born and raised. I'm from Compton, California, but I was raised in like spread out in LA. I spent a lot of years in Long Beach. I spent a lot of years just in the city of Los Angeles, but I found home in Compton. Oh, the food is arriving. Ooh. Hey, chef. Yes. Hey, guys, welcome. Sure. How are you, man? Hello. Good, thanks. So what's this right here? Have you had this before? So this is a fig leaf oil, and then this is speck, which Hold is on, a smoke Hold on, what's this right here, though? Figs, it's a fruit. Oh, it's a, this is a fruit so a called fig. a fig. Uh-huh. I've never had a fig, y'all. Have you had Fig Newton before? I have. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this is on the inside. Fire. That's amazing. When did you know, kind of like, music's my thing, being a professional and, and yeah. getting signed and who you got signed with? What was that like? Say around 19, I had a kid and I had a decision to make, like, Am I gonna rap full time or am I just gonna go get a job? So I said I was rapping about another five years. I put out a song that was like two minutes long. Somebody reached out to me on Twitter and said, can I help manage you? The blogs picked me up, got a call from Interscope, then I was signed. I thought that would change everything for me, but once you get to a label, the work really just begins. Like the grind, I have had restaurants, I've owned restaurants, the mm. buck stops with me. Yeah. When you get to that place, that's where the real work starts. I know we're eating well. How's your cooking skills? When I was a kid, I used to just put bacon in the microwave and then I toasted my bread and then put maple syrup on my bread. So it'd just be syrup bread and bacon. That was my go-to meal. As a sandwich? No, separate. separate. Syrup bread, go-to meal. I'm telling y'all, go make some <laughs> syrup bread, it's gonna bust. But I know how to make fried chicken. I got that from my mama, so I'm good at that. And something lately I've been doing is putting mustard on the chicken. Then you season him up, season him up. Go get you like a plastic bag, put the flour in there. Put your seasoning that you use from the chicken in the flour bag. You gotta shake it up, you know what I'm saying? Then what I do, I chop some onions up, right? Throw it in the hot, oil, uh, hot grease, right? So then you're gonna have cooked onions after your chicken done. It's like fried, fried onions. onions. Yeah, fried onions come out the chicken when your chicken done. And my kid love my chicken. He don't like none of my other food, but that fried chicken, hit. My first hip hop was East Coast stuff, a lot of Tribe, Dope. Delta Funky Homo Sapiens, but a lot of native tongues, a lot of conscious hip hop, KRS-One in the beginning. Top three rappers all time. Not just a city, all time. All time? So I'll put him up there, Black Thought. Fire. He's actually the rapper's rapper. Like, every rapper feels this way about it. I love Common. One more spot. Big L, rest in peace, man. This is a great top three. And the, can I throw one more person out there? Go ahead. One more. I'll give you one more. Pusha T. Pusha T. I love Pusha T. That is amazing. I, I like your list. I don't feel like a man at times because I don't know how to grill. So listen, man, the show is all about my grill. <laughs> Some of the recipes are involved, but it's also trying to take a little bit of that fear out of someone saying, I don't know how to yeah. grill. And I just told you how I feel about fire. Like me and fire got this love-hate relationship. So that just feel like ultimate push my fear in my face vibe. But maybe I'll overcome it soon. Initially, it's just burgers, brats, hot dogs. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, just and to get, get my over, feet wet. Yeah, just get your feet wet, get over it, and then graduate to some of the stuff that we're doing. But then I watch these YouTube channels, and they like got a certain way to look at the charcoal when it's ready, then sit the meat on this side while the charcoal is over here, raise the charcoal, and then Easy, it's like, man. oh, this is the science, it's too much. Easy, man, just get a gas grill first. Okay. Get a gas grill first, because that's what we work off of on the show. Oh, bet. We work off a of gas grill. Man, we're making everything from breakfast to brunch, pancakes. Breakfast on the grill? Breakfast on the grill, man. Why not? Yeah, okay. I said on Memorial Day this year, I was going to go to the park and try to like barbecue, but then I wrote a blunt, and then I just sat on the couch. And then <laughs> then got... I ordered barbecue. Then you ordered? <laughs> <laughs> I ordered from Bledsoe's. Have you had duck before? I've never had duck before. Try Moment this. of truth, West Side Boogie versus duck. Oh, this busting. Better than chicken? Don't go too far now. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> now I gotta try the steak. Try the steak without any sauce. What's, oh, duh. Just try it without. Don't disrespect the chef like that. And now I was saying you can taste the wood. I mean, can't you taste you that can. smoke? You can Definitely. taste that smoke. Well, something I was always curious about, if you're eating at a high-end restaurant like this and, it's, and you get a steak, if the chef doesn't give you any sauces on his own, 
Is it disrespectful to then ask for a sauce? And why do they take so much offense to that? If you come into my restaurant, uh -huh. you can eat this food however, however you, you want, want it. it. Yeah, you bought it, it's exactly. yours. It's a beautiful steak. So some people say it's so beautiful, you don't have to add yeah, anything exactly. to it. That's uh -huh. really what they're getting yeah. at. But the reality is, I think no one can tell anyone how to consume your music. Exactly. Playing in the club, in the car, Good point. at home, right? So I'm not gonna tell you how to eat this food. Speaking of cooking, listen, a cookout, it's a very LA thing. What's your favorite part about it? My earliest memory of the cookouts is obviously with my family, my uh, my grandparents, rest in peace. And having those moments of family, you don't really realize in a moment how special it is. When you look back and you think about those moments, you're just super grateful that you had them. I think it's super deep and rooted in the culture in LA. Um, this is a sense of community. You gotta have music at a yeah. cookout. So what's playing at your cookout? My grandpa didn't let nobody touch the music until he went in the house. Until then, we listening to jazz, random oldie songs, who, songs I would later grow to appreciate, like, wow, this is actually a good ass song. Yeah, um, yeah. But at the time, I was like, can you go in the house? I'm trying to turn up. <laughs> so then when he go in the house, that's when we get to play our, our songs. And I, I don't know, Ratchet LA music, whoever Ratchet at the time, a lot of Nipsey. Uh, YG and stuff like that. So Boogie Man, we've uh, we've shared some delicious food here. Um, great food. Great stories. Great combo. And I have to ask, man, um, am I invited to the cookout? <laughs> just can't wear no blue. I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, you invited. You can wear any color you want, man. man. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. It's been an amazing conversation for real. And shout thank out you, to the you. chef for this Ooh. amazing food. Still haven't tried this cherry walnut. It's looking kind of freaky to me, but. Do this, do this. If that looks freaky to you, do this. Do the cherry just with the duck. See, you, now you get into exotic. Cherry and duck? Man, right. I'm telling you, All just right, do man. the cherry and the duck because that is a very classic combination. It is? Okay. Honest, man. My honest opinion? I'm never listening to nobody again telling me to put <laughs> fruit with duck. <laughs>